Eh, bueno, bienvenidos a todos a Tiempo Fuera. Hoy estamos con un invitado especial, Cam McGriff. Bueno, well, eh, now again, eh, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Fine, fine. And starting with the first question, eh, I would like to go to the beginning of your career. Eh, can you tell me who or what introduced you to the world of basketball? Um, I think that it just kind of came to me, you know, growing up at the Boys and Girls Club in my um, hometown, Grand Prairie, Texas. It was, um, you know, it was something that I just did. I, first, I started off playing football, and then I could just continue to basketball in the winter. And then over time, you know, as I continued to get taller and taller, I, I felt like basketball was more suitable for me. At which moment you felt that passion for, for basketball? At which age? I don't know. Um, I think that it definitely, like, I chose to, like, stop playing football and just basketball around the age of, like, 13, 14, right when I got to high school. Right. So I just really focused on basketball. Excellent. Great. And also, obviously, uh, you played uh, with Portland, uh, uh, I believe. Uh, I'm checking the the, the past season, uh, 21, 22 seasons, you played a few games over there. Uh, how was that experience? I know it, the NBA is like every player's dream. Oh, uh, you know, it was, it was really good, but um, I definitely have to say that, you know, it's it's like you, your dream comes true, but then it, it turns into reality real fast. You know, you have to like stay in tune and, uh, you know, be prepared for the moment because, you know, it can come and go really fast. For sure. And also we know that, that uh, uh, you go to the LA And how was that experience? I know a lot of young players have the dream uh, that could be more achievable than the ABL, the NBA, sorry. Uh, so how was that? Well, it was great. Um, you know, playing in college for four years at Oklahoma State, it was definitely yeah. a fun experience. You know, a lot of great memories. And, uh, you know, I was able to become a better basketball player as well as, a you know, a better person. Met some, some great people along the way as well. Sure. Well, and you uh, played overseas for quite a while now. Uh, you played in uh, Belgium, in Puerto Rico, and now in Greece. Uh, how different is that experience to the NBA and, you know, the American uh, reality, for uh, for example? Um, you know, it's very different because, you know, especially like being somewhere like Greece, You're away from your family for a long time. Um, so, you know, it's a different dynamic being around different cultures and experiencing, you know, different parts of the world. Um, it, it, but it definitely, uh, for me, it, it, I concentrate just more on the game just by itself because there's really not much else for me to be worried about. But mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, you can get homesick and yeah. like that. And um, I have to say that, like, you know, The game itself is, you know, two two completely different things. You know, um, you can say in Europe is a lot more, um, you know, uh, intellectual. Like the game, you have to think a lot more, uh, different rules and things like that. Where um, in the states, you definitely still have to think as well. Space is is also different rules as well. So you know, you kind of play in two different games in a sense, but still the basketball though. Excellent. Yeah. And now in in Greece, uh, what are your your expectations for you personally and as a team? Uh, you know, just trying to help the team win the best way I can. Um, however that looks, uh, you know, just continue to get better. Uh, I think the team I have here is a really good team. So, um, you know, coming together in a, in a great league, playing against high level competition, you know, we can't really slack in night. And you played in hell of a good teams and in hell of a good leagues. But uh, if you had to choose uh, one or two players that you went up against that, uh, you know, stand out, who would, them, who would that player be? Like ever? Like in all the... My yeah, yeah, in NCAA, uh, G League, NBA, everything. Um, I definitely have to say, well... During my um my short time in the NBA up until this point, 
when we played against LeBron, uh, he had like 40 something points, like 13 rebounds. It was crazy. So, mm. I mean, that, I think that would be a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. And yeah. yeah, amazing. And also, uh, I like to ask the players uh, if there is a reason why they're, they were their number. In their case, if I'm correct, it's number eight. Uh, yeah. But if there are reason? Uh no, there's not really much reason. Um, I will say I remember whenever I was um in college, mm -hmm. you know, you can't wear the numbers like between six and nine, like anything that ends yeah. at six and nine, so you can't wear six and seventeen. But I know once you go into the pros and stuff like that, you can wear whatever number you want. Yeah. So um, yeah, I just chose to wear eight because I couldn't wear it before. So <laughs> that's all. So I love it. Yeah. And well, uh, also one thing that we're extremely interested in is, you know, many players have like a pregame things like they always do. Do you have like some of that or, you know, just normal stuff? Um, I don't know. I guess before every game, I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's, that's something I've been doing for years. Uh, Uh, listen to my same little like music. It changes from time to time, but you know, listen just like everybody else. Listen to music, mm. do my stretching, things like that. But yeah, the, I think the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is kind of like my normal thing. That is kind of unique. Yeah, that's extremely interesting. Yeah. And come, uh, do you know, uh, or you can tell me what is the main thing. That you work on to be like the best player that you can be, or there is a lot of things that you uh, work. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things. Uh, I typically have a routine, you know. Every day before practice, go shoot. After practice, need to stretch. Um, so, just knowing that for the longest, that <clears throat> for one, you know, I have to be a good shooter to like be able to play for a long time, and two. Yeah. Uh, you know, just trying to take care of my body in the best way I can because, uh, you know, the the best ability is availability. So, you know, if I'm able to play and stay healthy, that, that's great for me in the long run. So, yeah, I try, I try to work on everything, though, ball handling, shooting, as well as my body. All around. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, well, and one of the last questions of this first section, there are other two, but they are much, much shorter. Uh, is a uh, you have a lot of career to go, but what is one thing uh, that when you, you finish your career, you look back and you said, uh, "Oh, I did this." You know, one thing that you want to accomplish. Uh, you, you're saying like goals in the future or things that I've already accomplished now. Uh, it could be something that you already accomplished, like for example, make it into the NBA. But a uh, one thing that you definitely want to do before yeah. your career your career ends. Uh, I would definitely have to say, you know, play, play in the playoffs in the NBA, playing, winning a championship. Really, that's the main thing at any level, whether like here this year in Greece, any at any level. That's why I, I need to do is put a couple of those together, um, as well because I haven't won a, a championship in my pro career until this point. So, I think that's number one on the list. For sure, before I'm done, my career is over. I want to win a championship. Yeah, and Greece is an extremely competitive league. They have Olympiakos, Panathinaikos, uh, two very important uh, Euroleague clubs. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, and moving on to the next section. Next section. Uh, this is one in which the previous player we interviewed uh, left a question for you. Uh, in this case, is uh, Steve Hoyufat that plays in the Metropolitans 92 with, you know, Victor Wemaya in the French League. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, he left a question for you that uh, it's a situation, more or less. He said, it's the end of the game and you're tied with your team and you have the ball in the last position. What what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to my go-to move, I guess. I mean, tied up last game, probably. 
I don't want to give out my secrets though at the same time because if somebody watches this video <laughs> and they're guarding me, I'll be in trouble. So uh yeah, just my go-to move, but I'm definitely trying to get a, a good shot up for sure. <laughs> That's all I can say. You couldn't say if it's a layup or a, or a three point. Um I want to get, get to my spot. Okay, okay. So I mean <laughs> he doesn't want to get it away. It's okay, it's okay. And do you yeah. have like a question you want to leave for our next guest? Um I can uh who's their top five favorite players of all time? Great one. Yeah. Excellent. And well, come going on to the last section. This one is one of our personal favorites. It has nothing related to basketball. It calls flash questions, and the quickest you can answer, uh, excellent. Okay. So whenever you're ready, we go. Go. Favorite movie? Uh, American Gangster. Favorite TV show? Uh, Martin. Not including basketball. What sport do you watch or play the most? Um, Football. Uh, American football. <laughs> uh, you, you, I, I was all to us to clear that up you know you're, you're in Greece they, they play football <laughs> uh, like not American football yeah yeah inmate you spend the most time with um probably here yeah in Greece probably uh, uh Akil Mitchell or <laughs> Kenny Williams Kenny mm. sorry Yeah. Favorite food? Uh, Asian food, like Chinese food, stuff like that. Favorite video game? Favorite what? Video game. Say that again? Favorite video game? Feeling? Video game. No, video game. Video game. Oh, video game, video game, video game. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Um, I don't really play video games like that anymore, but I would have to say uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. great. Hot or Call cold? Yeah. <laughs> hot or cold? Uh, hot. One dream left to accomplish, not basketball related. Uh, buy my mom a house. Excellent. Favorite artist? Jay-Z. Finally, favorite Jay -Z. basketball shoes? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, probably... Uh, Kobe fours, mm. maybe or the KD fours. KD fours probably one of my favorite. Or the Paul George one. <laughs> you have many favorite foods. There's a pick. lot of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's tough. Tough question. Uh, well, come. Uh, you know, thanks a lot for taking the time to be here. That's basically it. Uh, you know, we really appreciate you. Uh, and you know, we let you know when uh, the status of the interview and everything. All right. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. Thank you very much, Cam. Thank you. Have Cam. a nice season. Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye.